those of you just quickly who may not have heard much about CrossFit, CrossFit originated uh, a little over 10 years ago in Santa Cruz over in California by an ex-gymnast who wanted to challenge the notion of what it meant to be truly fit. Um, he then sought about to uh, combine a whole lot of different uh, sporting and weightlifting and, and fitness disciplines to determine the person who was truly the fittest, not necessarily in one particular discipline, but who was fit, uh, who was most fit across a broad range of uh, disciplines. Fast forward 10 years, CrossFit has now developed into a full-blown competition, which winds up as uh, the World CrossFit Games in Carson, California in July every single year. But it starts off at about this time every year, where we all take part in what's called the CrossFit Open. It's a five-week online competition. This year we've got 150,000 people taking part from all walks of life, all areas of fitness. CrossFit release a workout once a week um, over a five-week period. And the top 48 men and women in each region around the world, of which there's about 18 regions, then go forward to compete in uh, the regional competition, which for Australia and New Zealand is in Wollongong in May of this year. And then the top three men and women from each of those regions go on to compete in the World CrossFit Games over in California. So what we've got for you here today is what's called Workout 14.2. We had the first workout last week. We've got two regional competitors for you here. We've got Amy Alessi in the black t-shirt and we've got Claire Fraser here over in the over in the grey tank top. Both did extremely well in the first week of the CrossFit Open. The workout we've got here today, not one of the easier workouts to describe in, uh, in the CrossFit competition however. What these ladies are going to do is the workout split up into three minute categories. The first three minutes, the ladies are going to do Okay, the ladies are going to do 10 overhead squats and then they're going to go do 10 chest to bar pull ups They're going to do that twice in the first three minutes They then, if they've got some rest, they get to take that time to rest and in the second, uh, the second three minutes, the reps increase to 12 If they get through those two rounds of 12 reps of overhead squats and chest of up pull-ups. They then go into the third three minute round where it increases to 14 and if they keep going, 16, 18, 20 and so on. All these workouts have to be videoed, so um, we've got cameras going, they have to be submitted to CrossFit headquarters for verification so that these ladies can, can verify their score and move on to the next round. The weight, for the, um, the weight for the women is 30 kilos on the bar. Alright ladies, we're ready to make a start. Mark? Go. As you'll start to see as we move through this workout, the first thing that's likely to go for all these athletes is their chest to bar pull-ups. It puts a lot of pressure on the forearms. And tactics as we go through the second and third three-minute ranges is going to be critical.
you'll see here that for any kind of squat in CrossFit competition to be a good rep, athletes are required to go below parallel every single time. You see the Amy start to break up her chest bars. That's not necessarily a fatigue thing, that's more of a strategic thing so that her forearms don't blow out. She's now done in about a minute and a half. Claire's done, so they've got a minute and a half to regroup themselves before they'll take off in the second three minute portion where their reps will increase to, uh, to 12 each. Yeah. 
45 seconds. Common saying in the CrossFit world, every rep counts. You can start to see why. 30 seconds. Maybe he's a power clicker jerk to get that bubble bar ahead now. your max snatch? 67. 67. Clean and jerk? 82. 82 kilos, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see it's not all about the light stuff. These girls have got a lot of skills that they can bring to the table. Let's give them another round of applause as we welcome the guys back on. Yeah. 